Hello everyone. Uh, this video I'll give you about an uh, introduction about a finite automata. What is a finite automata and how to solve some problems using a finite automata. Uh, now a finite automata is a mathematical model that is used to solve some problems. Actually this is a basic mathematical model that doesn't have any memory at all. Uh, we'll usually get confused of it. What problems can be solved without using any memory, right? I'll give you an example for it. All the problems that works based on the current situation can be solved using the finite automata. Uh, for example, consider a case like uh, we usually have an automated door uh, in case of uh, shopping malls and all, right? Uh, the main function of uh, automated door is to open when someone goes and stands in front of it and when nobody is there the door has to be in a closed state right here in this case we doesn't need any memory right uh, the door or need not to remember like whether the person came prior or not in all when someone goes and stands in front of it the door has to go to an open state when nobody is there the door should remains in a closed state Actually, there are two states. The door either be in an open or a closed state. And the input for the system is someone stands in front of it and no one is standing. Okay. So here we can consider there are two states and we can use any type of representation for it. I will explain you using a transition diagram. There are two states. One is open and another one is closed state. The door either remains in an open state or in a closed state. And when someone goes, like if the door is in open state, when nobody is there, consider a case, the door is in open state and nobody is there, the door should automatically go to a closed state. Okay, when nobody is there. So this function, we call it as a transition. From a state on an input, we goes to a uh, the door goes to a next state open when nobody is standing it goes to a closed state and similar place when the door is in closed state when someone goes and stands in front of it it goes to a open state so here we have two states open and close and two inputs nobody is standing and someone is standing based on the current state and current input we goes we go to a next transition so this is called a transition and this working principle uh, find, uh, for any problem if we can derive a, a, trans, a transition diagram like this we call this model as a mathematical uh, finite automata a mathematical model and we call that as a finite automata and here in the case we doesn't need any memory at all since on the current state on the current input we take to a uh, some new new state new state uh, from the current state on current input we goes to a next state so that we call it as a finite automata uh, here we have some fixed finite number of states and finite number of input symbol and we have a transition okay the movement from one state to other state based on the input and transition here is represented using a symbol del del of one state we can have it as open on one input nobody is standing we go to next state so this representation we call it as a transition movement of one state on one input we go to a next state okay and here we have to fix all possibility like here when the door is in open state when nobody is standing we go to a closed state and similar case if the door is in open state and someone keep on standing we have to remain in this open state so we can make a self loop over here for someone stands the door is in open state if someone stands over here for all the time we go we we have we have to remain in this open state itself so that case we call it as a self loop condition this is zero or more transition someone might be there or someone uh, like some persons will keep on standing so that we call it as self loop self loop condition zero or more transition and similarly consider this case in closed state when nobody is standing the door should remains in the closed state itself okay so this we call it as a self loop condition 
okay and here we have checked for all possibilities there are two inputs from each and every state on both the inputs we have a transition okay and uh, there are two more functions like when there are n number of finite states there is a condition of some state to be a starting state and some state to be a final state like whenever we start the transition the processing it starts from some place okay and we call that state as a starting state in the case of an automated door we don't have any starting state at all like we can consider close to be a starting state since whenever we uh, uh, whenever we start the transition whenever uh, we open a shop okay we uh, have the door in a closed state and we start the transition from this place okay so we can have it as a closed state as a starting state and we can have a final state too at the end of the day we are going to have the door in the closed state so we can have this as a final state too starting state is represented using an arrow mark over here and closed state with the double circle i'll give you one more example in a theoretical concept like this is a generalized place okay i'll give you an example in case of a string condition okay uh, consider we all know that uh, in microsoft word and all we have a find function control f used to find some word okay for example if the uh, word that starts with the d t h e has to be checked with okay we can have a find it automata for it. from the starting state okay we have to check for three symbols i'll check the t h e okay so we can have this as a starting state when this t h and e occur in a sequence we go to a final state okay so here we having like we can give there are four states over here we can give the state name as 1 2 3 and 4 where one is the starting state four is the final state when from the starting state we process each and every input symbol if the word contains t h e in the starting of it we go to final state okay here we have in check for all possible condition since when you want to check for alphabets starts from a to z it's very hard to find the transitions over here okay and we usually go for some set of inputs like input symbols are represented using this symbol x epsilon this is used to represent input and when the inputs are a to z we can have this condition a to z all the alphabets will be a input over here in this case we consider all the alphabets the word document might contains all alphabets over there and whenever a statement that starts with t h e a word that starts with t h e our automata will go to a final state okay and this is one example where we have a finite number of states countable number of states four states and countable number of inputs all alphabets a from a to z and we have a starting state and we have a final state so this is an actual finite automata and the formal definition for a finite automata contains five tuples finite automata in general we have five tuples where q q represents set of states a finite set of states we have t h e sorry 1 2 3 4 all this four states are q and sigma the input symbol okay like we have finite set of input symbol where a to z in this condition and the previous example there are two inputs no nobody is standing and someone is standing over there okay and then the next one is transition transition actually represent the movement of a state on a input here one state one when the input is t we go to state 2 and again 2 when the input is h we go to state 3 and 3 when the input is e we go to the state 4 okay so this is transition and we have already discussed how a transition can be written based on the current state and the current input we go to the next state okay so set of finite set of states finite set of input symbol a transition along with the starting state uh, we can have it as q not in general representation here close is a starting state and here one is the starting state so that will be given over here and the last thing is f 
F a set of possible finite states. Here, we, 4 is the finite state and in this case closes the finite state. And in some condition, we can have 2 or more finite states. Okay, in a finite automata, there is a possibility of getting 2 or uh, any, any number of finite states, final states. Okay, so we use the symbol F to represent this final states, set of all possible final states and only one starting state is, is, that, is there, that is very important. And whenever we process some inputs, we, starts from the, we start from the starting state and uh, at the end of input, after processing all the input symbol, for example, if the input is THE, we start from the starting symbol, take in each symbol at a time, 1, when the input is T, we go to the state 2. 2 when the input is H we go to state 3 and 3 when the input is E we go to state 4. At the end of this input symbol if the transition lies in a final state we say that our mathematical model accepts the input. Okay and there are two kinds of finite automata that will be discussed in the next tutorial. Thank you.